How's it going guys? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6, the final version. Yes, the first thing you want to do though, as you can see I'm running iOS 6 here just to show you guys. What you want to do first is to go ahead and place your device into DFU mode. Now, just keep in mind this only works with A4 devices. So if you have an iPhone 4S or an iPad 3 or something like that, iPad 2, this will not work. I'm using an iPhone 4 in this example. I'm placing it in DFU mode right now. Again, you will need an A4 device in order to use this jailbreak tutorial. So keep that in mind. This is a tethered jailbreak, by the way. Once you're successfully in the DFU mode and you're connected to your computer, obviously, then head over to your desktop top you want to load up red snow 0.913 dev 4 now you should see it connected in dfu mode click extra select ipsw and then find your ios 6 firmware here mine is in library itunes if i can find it because i actually downloaded the firmware via itunes in the iphone software updates just go ahead and select that if you downloaded it manually just find it wherever you downloaded it to and then you should see successfully identified. That is a good thing. So it identified the firmware. Click OK and go back and now click on jailbreak. And this will process all the data. Make sure install SSH is checked. Of course, Cydia won't be installed. Click next. And then you should see it exploiting with Lime Rain and all that jazz. So this will take, you know, you guys know the drill by now. If you've jailbroken before, you know this takes a while to complete. Um, so you're waiting for reboot, all that. And you're going to continue to wait. Meanwhile, eventually your iPhone or your iPod Touch or whatever you're using to jailbreak will show a black screen. It'll boot up like this. And then you'll see this little matrix mode, I like to call it. All this scrolling. Now, I've sped this up to hurry up and get through this so you guys aren't sitting here watching this video for the next half an hour. So I've sped this up significantly. Of course, your installation will take quite a bit longer so just be patient you should see installing bundles rebooting etc etc eventually you'll be at your apple logo and then eventually you'll be at your lock screen sort of like this right here so once you're back at your lock screen not much we can do right now we still uh, obviously don't have Cydia just yet and we need to do a tethered boot as well so keep that in mind so what we're going to do is place our device back in the DFU mode so that we can perform that tethered boot so just hold home and power for 10 seconds, release the power button, continue holding home for 10 additional seconds. So it's, it's pretty easy. You guys know the drill by now. Okay. Now, once we're back in a DFU mode with the black screen, you can go ahead and click back on red snow and click just boot. And this will actually perform the tether boot. And you'll know this is working because you should see eventually a pineapple logo on your iOS devices screen. But first of all, it's going to take a while to get through this, waiting for reboot and all that. So again, you just have to be patient while it identifies the build, it patches the files and all that jazz. Again, this is just something that takes a little bit of patience to get through, but eventually you'll get there. So just a couple of more seconds and we should be rebooting. So now we should be rebooting. Let's head back over to our iPhone and there it is just like clockwork and hopefully we'll see that pineapple logo just like that all right so when we now know we are performing a tether boot off of course sped this up again for your convenience this should take a little longer on your device but it shouldn't take that long so just be patient again okay in a few more seconds we should be back up to our lock screen and really the jailbreak portion is complete. We've installed SSH, which will be essential for us to install Cydia in a few minutes. So there we are back at our lock screen. Let's go ahead and unlock the device. Let me just show you that there's still no Cydia there just yet, even though we performed the tethered boot. Now what we need to do though, is go to our settings app and find the Wi-Fi IP address so we can connect to our iPhone. So just go to settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the little arrow next to the connected Wi-Fi router, and then you should see it there. In this case, 10.0.1.27. So that is the IP address that I need to connect to using the terminal app on my Mac. So make sure you denote your own IP address. Yours should be different than what I have on mine. Have you written that down yet? Well, if so, then head over to your Mac 
and you want to open up the terminal app as I have here type in SSH space and then root the at sign and then your IP address in my case 10.0.1.27 hit enter it'll wait a little while so just be patient right here it'll it'll seem like it's doing nothing but it's actually negotiating a connection with your device so there you go are you sure you want to con continue connecting type yes enter and then put the password in the password is alpine all over case once you've done that you're connected now you just need to copy and paste this information which you'll find on i download blog in this post or in the description on youtube and then hit enter and that will actually download all the necessary files and install Cydia on your iOS device and really that's all you need to do once you put this command in you may see some some feedback and may see like permission denied or something like that just ignore that if you get permission denied it's okay don't sweat it don't get too antsy everything should be okay this will take a few minutes a minute or so I don't know give or take a few seconds once you're at this part of the prompt, it's back at your uh, pound sign, you're good. So your iPhone should automatically go ahead and respring itself, and then you should see Cydia right there on your home screen, just like that. Now, once you run Cydia, it'll have to go through and perform you know, its update, and that's very lengthy preparing file systems, so I've sped this up significantly. But that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get Cydia on your jailbroken iOS 6 device. It really isn't as difficult as it seems. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Were you able to successfully get Cydia on your device? Let me know what you think. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.